Hey everybody. Yesterday I shot a video about options for getting our fish tanks through power outages and in it I talked about using battery backups and power inverters and different ways we could connect our fish tanks to a simple car battery or something to that effect. And I got a lot of uh, comments from people who were saying that there are other and better options out there nowadays. Uh, one of which I was aware of and we'll talk about and then the other one I was not aware of and we will also talk about. So the one I was not aware of is a battery backup air pump that you leave plugged in and it runs off of the, you know, the wall outlet. It runs off of your AC electricity, but it has a built-in battery backup. And if the power is cut off, then the battery backup automatically cuts in. I have emergency lighting uh, that is much like this. And that's a really good idea and I'm not familiar with that and if I knew about that I certainly would have included that in my video but that still has a very limited usability or, or functionality and that brings me to the second one that got brought up a lot that I am aware of and it's these small uh, USB cord rechargeable air pumps and several people talked about those as though those were the bee's knees and this is what you should be using and don't mess around with those little you know baby bubbles or whatever type of battery operated air stones I was talking about these rechargeable USB ones are the way to go and I'd thought about that before I even shot my video because there are plenty of rechargeable options out there but the problem is you're in a power outage. How do you recharge your battery when the battery runs low? And now I know with the USB uh, cables, we can have battery banks, or you can take it out to your car and you can plug it into the USB port on your car. But again, how different is that than the options that I was suggesting of using a battery with a power inverter and then simply plugging your air stone into that? So if you got an air stone that's rechargeable, what do you do when you're recharging it? Let's say you have to take your airstone out to your car and plug it into the USB port to recharge it. What, what happens to your aquarium for the two hours while you're waiting for your air pump to recharge? So I'm not a big fan of the rechargeable um, built-in batteries where you run it till it runs down and then what? What do you do to recharge that? The type that takes the replaceable batteries may seem outdated and a bit antiquated, but I went with those for the specific reason of you can have spare batteries and when the batteries are running out, if you're into day two of your power outage now, you simply put new batteries in it and it keeps on running. You don't need a way to recharge those batteries. Now, I personally use the little NICAD rechargeable batteries and I got a bucket full of them upstairs. And so when the power came back on, I'd be able to recharge all those batteries and then put them back in you know, my bucket of reusable batteries. So it's not necessarily wasteful to just go through these disposable batteries over and over again, but it gives you the opportunity of having backup batteries if the power outage lasts longer than you anticipated. If you're gonna have a three or four or five hour power outage, then I'm sure a rechargeable um, you know, air pump would probably work just fine. Those things probably run 12 hours or something on a single charge. But what do you do the next day when the batteries run down and the power is still not on? you still have to have some sort of battery backup. You need some sort of power bank to recharge, or you need to go out to your car, or you need a battery with an inverter on it or something like that in order to do this. So the rechargeable ones and then the automatic ones are good options, but with limited functionality. They would work great in um, you know, a four to 12 hour power outage. And uh, you know, honestly, most power outages don't last that long. Most power outages are for an hour or two and then you get your power back on. I tend to think about, and this is because I had the experience where we lost power for three days one time. It was a bad storm. Millions of people on the East Coast were out of power. And we were lucky that it only took three days for us to get the power back on. One of our neighbors, it was seven days before they came back on. And so that's what I think of when I think of getting your fish through a power outage. I don't think of, oh, the power is going to be out for the next three hours. What am I going to do? 
that's not an issue. That's not something you need to plan or prepare for. A simple little battery power you know, device will work just fine for those kind of scenarios. I'm talking about bad storm, winter weather, you know, regional distribution, and your power is going to be out for a couple of days. And in that case, I feel like these rechargeables are very, very limited in scope because ultimately you would still need to have other batteries or your car or a generator or something to recharge your battery so again not a bad idea it is good to put that information out there that these types of things are available uh, i looked for but did not find one of the emergencies that sort of cuts on automatically when the power goes off i don't really think that's necessary because your fish aren't going to start suffering the instant the power goes out but it's neat, and it's something that if you were at work all day and there was nobody home and the power went out at 9 o'clock in the morning, you might have dead fish when you came home at 6 o'clock that evening. So the emergency, it kicks on automatically, might not be a bad option either. But again, I wasn't able to find that. If I do find a, um, you know, for it, I will put a link to it uh, because I think that's a good idea. I think that does serve a valid purpose of having that automatic cut on um function in there but other than that i'm not a big fan of the rechargeable uh air stones as an emergency backup again they just have a limited function i like i like the option of being able to replace those batteries when they get low if i need to so i'd be interested to hear your thoughts again i got some good feedback on the last one Hopefully I will on this one too. So don't forget, I do a live stream every Friday night and every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern time for the general public. And on Wednesday evenings, I do a live stream at 8 o'clock for my members only. So if you want to join a membership, you will get uh, access to that live stream as well. So thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Don't forget to hit the ring that bell. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.